Hi, I'm Phil Wheaton, the Senior Executive Officer of the Armidale City Bowling Club. I've lived in Armidale all of my life and operated a wood heater most of that time. A wood heater is a beautiful thing, but the smoke that it produces is not beautiful for our city. The good news is that we can reduce that smoke by up to 90%. It's simple and anyone can do it. Many people don't realise that smoke is unburnt fuel. If your chimney is smoking, you're wasting heat because your wood is going up your flue instead of into your fire. When lighting your fire, newspaper and fire starters both do the job, but also add two pieces of scrunched up paper on top of your kindling. This will heat the flue and quickly get a draft started, sucking oxygen into your fire. Always keep the air supply fully open. And if your heater is slow to start, keep the door open a crack. But don't leave the fire unattended with the door open. The aim here is to get a good hot fire burning as quickly as possible. When the kindling is burning well, you can add larger pieces of wood. When these are burning well, you can add larger logs. Always place your logs so air can move between them from the front of the fire to the back. A few things to remember. Always leave your air control open for at least 20 minutes when you add wood. It dries the wood and burns it efficiently. Always add your logs to a good base of hot coals. If you leave it too long before adding wood and the coals have died down, your wood will burn poorly and smoke. Only burn dry wood. Never burn rubbish or treated wood. Never let the fire smoulder because this produces heaps of smoke. Always keep the air vent open enough to burn with a bright flame. That way you'll burn the smoke before it escapes. If you keep these tips in mind, you can have your cake and eat it. A warm home with very little smoke. It's pretty simple. Just remember to keep the air vent fully open when you light a fire and keep it fully open for 20 minutes whenever you add a log. That way you will be burning with a bright flame and getting the most heat possible out of your wood.